Hello, today I'm going to share one of my favorite cauliflower recipes, garlic mashed potatoes. The special element about these mashed potatoes is that it requires absolutely no potatoes. This recipe is a quick and easy side dish that is perfect for anything from a backyard cookout to a late night dinner. You need one head of cauliflower, three cloves of garlic, a third cup of butter, and chives are optional. You can also use bacon bits for a garnish on top. You also need about one fourth cup of milk and around one eighth of a tablespoon of salt and pepper and one cup of Parmesan cheese, or any cheese of your choice. First, you are going to want to wash the head of cauliflower and remove the leaves. The, re the materials required for this recipe are a pot, stirring spoon, cutting board, knife, large mixing bowl, spatula, measuring cups, and a blender, mixer, hand mixer, or whatever you have available to blend the cauliflower after you cut it up. Cauliflowers are a great alternative to potatoes because it contains less carb and has anti-inflammatory compounds, unlike potatoes, which have mild inflammatory compounds. Cauliflowers contain vitamins A, C, and K. And this is what your finished product should look like after you complete this step. Next, you want to cut off the stalk of the cauliflower and chop the cauliflower into bite-sized pieces, which should be about a quarter inch in diameter. Another cool thing about cauliflower is that it contains the minerals potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium, which are really helpful and beneficial to your health. And you wanna aim for about a piece this size. Next, you want to fill the pot halfway with water. You may also add a pinch of salt for a little bit of taste. Then you want to turn the burner to medium heat and bring the water to a boil. And once it's at a boil, you want to add the cauliflower. Next, you're going to want to stir so it cooks evenly. And you'll know it's done when you stick a fork through it and it slides right off the fork. And once it's done, you'll turn off the heat and remove it from the burner and grab a strainer to remove as much water as you can so that your product is not too soupy because you will add milk and butter to try and find the perfect consistency so it is kind of like the texture of mashed potatoes. Next, you will place the cauliflower into the blender or the mixer and make sure to get every piece. Then turn on the mixer and begin the blending process. Next, add the butter. And the minced garlic. And make sure to scrape the sides so every piece gets blended to the right amount. Next, add milk until you find the perfect balance of your consistency. Next, you will add the Parmesan cheese, or whatever cheese you chose. And make sure to add all of it, but not all at once, so it blends perfectly. And then add a little salt and pepper. And here is your finished product. Notice it kind of looks like mashed potatoes. And next, you can add your garnish, whether it be bacon bits or chives in our case. Enjoy!